Hey guys, welcome back to another episode where we're going to continue on our exploration of finding roots. So how do we graph our function in our calculators? Well, today I'm going to show you using a TI-84, but the process is going to be the same on a TI-82, TI-83, or even a TI-89. So let's take a look at an example function. So what if we want to solve 3x squared plus 8x plus 4 equals 0? So in this particular function, now we know we could factor and we could use the quadratic formula, but let's try graphing this. So let's take a look at our calculator. And what we're going to do is we're going to go into the y equals function here. Okay, so how are we going to plug in this equation into our calculator? Well, to do that, we're going to click on this y equals button on the top left here. And when we do that, it takes us to a screen where we can actually uh, enter our equation and then graph it. So recall that our equation is 3x squared plus 8x plus 4 equals 0. But we're actually going to ignore that equals 0 for now because we already have an equal sign and it actually says equals y sub 1. Now we can't change that to 0. So we're going to leave it and let's plug in our equation 3x squared plus 8x plus 4. We're not going to plug in the equals 0 part. <laughs> So next, we're going to click on the graph on the top right. And when we do that, we're going to get this picture of a parabola. Now, notice that this parabola crosses the x-axis twice. That's actually very important because that's what we're looking for. Recall that our equation 3x squared plus 8x plus 4 equals 0. So initially, it said equals 0, but we said that's really just a y value. So where does y equal 0? And that is actually the x-axis. So what we're looking for is where this graph, this parabola, crosses the x-axis. Now notice that it does it twice. And that's exactly within our expectations because according to the fundamental theorem of algebra, we know that there should be two answers. So how do we find this intersection and how do we find this intersection? Well, lucky for us, our calculator has a mode that does exactly that. It finds those intersections. Now, remember, those are called roots or zeros. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on second and then trace, So which really makes it this calc button. So when we do that, one of our options here, it says we're, we're going to calculate a zero. So when we do that, we're going to click two. And it says left bound. Now, what we want to do is we want to go to the left of our first root. So we're going to go to, since I'm going to look for this left root here, and I want to go to the left of it. So notice my cursor, it's to the left. I don't care if it's above or below. I just want to make sure it's left of it. And once I'm left, I'm going to hit enter. Now it asks for the right bound. So now I'm going to go to the right of that root, or zero, and click enter. And then when it asks for guess, I'm going to hit enter again, and it gives me my first answer. So notice that x equals negative 2 right here. That actually is our first solution. Now, we want another solution because we know that it intersects twice. So how do we find that other root? Well, we're going to do the same thing again. We're going to click second, then trace, which again is the calc button. Scroll down for 0, hit enter. We're going to go make sure we're left of this root. Now, notice my cursor is already to the left of it. So I'm just going to hit enter now. Now I'm going to scroll to the right. And I'm to the right, and I kept going, so I'm actually a, a lot further than I wanted it to be. But it actually doesn't matter. All, I, all that matters is that I'm to the right of that root. So since I am, I'm going to hit enter. And again, I'm going to hit enter again for our guess. And we get our second solution, our zero, which is x is equal to negative 0.6666666. Which again, recall that this is just equal to the fraction negative 2 thirds. This, this concludes how we find roots using our calculators. Okay, now I want you guys to try a problem on your own. So I'm going to present a problem to you. 2x squared plus 14x plus 3 equals 5x plus 8. Now, notice this equation looks a lot more complicated than the one we tried before. Now, if we're going to solve the quadratic, remember, before we even look for a GCF, there's always a first step there. And our first step is always to get it to do what on one side? That's right, we've got to get one side to equal zero. 
So notice that the left side has a lot more terms than the right side. So let's move everything from the right side to the left side, so which means we're going to subtract the 5x and we're going to subtract the 8. Once we do that, we're going to combine like terms and we see that we do have a quadratic. This is something we can work with. So let's try to plug that into our calculator and I'll give you a moment to try and solve that. So you should have gotten as an answer, x is equal to one half and x is equal to negative five. So let's take a look at how we're gonna use our calculator to arrive at those answers. So just like before, we're gonna hit y equals to begin with. Once we're in the screen, we're gonna plug in our quadratic, which in this case is two x squared plus nine x minus five. And again, we're gonna ignore the equals zero part because we already have an equals sign here. And again, this is equals y. So next we're gonna hit the graph button right here on the top right, which gives us our graph. And then we know that these are our two roots, one right here and one right here. So we're gonna click on second trace, which again is the calc. We're gonna scroll down to zero, hit enter. Now we're gonna go, to, I'm gonna find that left root first, meaning I'm going to scroll all the way until I'm left of this particular root. Okay, so I'm going to keep hitting and there's my cursor. I'm just going to go left of that and I'm clearly left. I'm going to hit enter. Now I'm going to go right of it and hit enter. And again, we're going to hit enter again for guess. And this is my first answer. X is equal to negative five. Now we're going to repeat those steps to get our second root. We hit zero again. Now I'm already to the left of my second root, so I'm just gonna hit enter now, and then just make sure that I go to the right of it. So I'm gonna scroll to the right, and when I'm sufficiently to the right of that, there's my cursor, I'm gonna hit enter, and enter again, and I get my other answer, which is 0.5, which again is of course one half. So if you guys didn't get those answers, make sure you rewind the video and watch those steps again, to make sure you get x is equal to one half and x is equal to negative five. So let's take a look at one more problem. What about 16x squared is equal to nine? What's our first step here? So let's move that nine over to the other side by subtracting nine on each side and we get 16x squared minus nine is equal to zero. Can we plug this into our calculator now? Yes, we can. So let's go ahead and try that and see what we get as an answer. So hopefully you guys got two solutions and the answer to this problem was x is equal to negative three over four and x is equal to positive three over four. So I want you guys to try some more problems on the worksheet that's linked on Canvas and I'll see you guys on Thursday. Bye. <laughs>